As of firmware version 1.6, VS Play has the ability to create custom interfaces. Being able to present the end user with an interface with the exact buttons and controls they need makes operations simpler and the chance of callouts reduced. To set up an interface, navigate to the Interfaces tab. Here we can define an interface name, a custom URL, and assign it to a group. Groups are important when it comes to navigation between multiple pages. If you want to delete an interface, for example, if it's part of a group, every other interface that references it will also remove that link. Links pages, on the other hand, allow you to direct users to a precise page. Now this is useful when you want to direct them on a journey through your interfaces, instead of giving them access to everything all the time. Next, we've got the ability to hide from home. As the name suggests, when this is enabled, you can't then access the interface from the main S Play homepage. When it's disabled, you can. In this video, we're going to set up a basic interface, allowing control of two different playlists. The playlists I've got set up are a green scene with a fade in and fade out of two seconds, and a blue scene with the same fade in and fade out times. It's worth noting, I've got the restrict to one active playlist per group setting enabled on the settings page. This means that when one playlist is played, the other one inside the group stops. Let's go back to the Interfaces tab. Firstly, we can enter the name. So I'm going to call it My Interface. Next, we can define a URL. And I'm going to assign this to group number one. We don't have any other pages to link to at the moment. This is the first one. We're not gonna bother hiding this one from home. Once we press save, it appears on the list on the left hand side of the screen. And we've got the ability to edit this. So this opens a completely blank page and will be the exact same as what the interface will look like when it's in operation. This loads up the interface that we can edit. We've got a number of configuration options. We're gonna start with setting the background color. We can then add in widgets. So we've got the option to select between spaces for layout settings. You can play all playlists, pause all playlists, stop all playlists. Along with these same actions for individual playlists on the S Play, and then individual playlist intensity and a master intensity. So I'm going to create a widget for playing back my green scene. So I'm going to call play green. And I'm going to select play playlist. That's my green scene. I'm going to set this to a width of 40% screen width. So there we go. I can toggle on the edit function if I want to change the color of the widget. Here I'm going to select a slightly paler color. And hit update. I'm going to continue with this process now to create the rest of the page. So as you can see, I've finished off this interface and made a few modifications. We've got the blue and green play buttons along with the master intensity down the bottom. Now to center this up, I've put a 100% spacer at the top and the bottom, and on each side, I've put a 30% width spacer too. To illustrate how interface groups work, along with the type of advanced things you can achieve with the S Play, I've created another interface. So what I'm going to do to finalize it is set its interface group to group number one. This means we can navigate between each of the interfaces without having to come back to this page or the home page. So let's go into edit view. I'll turn on the edit mode. And as you can see, I've made a few spaces and then fit the buttons and sliders around those. Because it's more than just a lighting controller, its show control functionality allows us to do things such as triggering projectors on and off with separate buttons. So in this example, we could be using RS-232 or UDP. We can also send UDP commands to a volume mixer like I've got down here, with different presets defined. 
On the left hand side we've got some different lighting states, so the auditorium walk-in and an exit state, along with some cleaners lights down the bottom. Now these are all inside the same priority group, meaning that when one is played, the others automatically fade out. Finally we've got some lectern spotlights, so we can turn these on, they automatically fade in, and we can turn them off, allowing them to fade out. You can also define spotlight brightness too. As I said before, as we selected an interface group, we can navigate easily across to the first interface made earlier in this video. Once on this page, we can do the same thing to get back. Once happy with this view, we can press the menu icon, which takes us back to the interfaces page. If we want to set this as the landing page for the S Play as a whole, allowing anyone to navigate to the IP address and be taken straight to the interface, we can press set as landing page. Now if I open a new tab and type in the S Play's IP address, we can see it navigates to it straight away. This works on any mobile device, tablet or laptop, providing it's connected to the same network as the S-Play. We hope this has been a useful introduction to using interfaces on the S-Play. If you've got any feature requests, any ideas, or any questions about how to get set up and going, let us know in the comments or reach out to our tech support or sales team. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.